And Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. We back in the same, back in the same, like cracking the same, man. Like, comment, subscribe for more. This is a good content. We got going on here at TNN and Trap News Network. Some news you can use. Not legit, though. You can't get nobody's college, though, big dog. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe for all this good content. We got going on here at TNN and Trap News Network. Some news you can use. Not legit, though. You can't get nobody's college, though. Get into that. You ain't got into that. Make sure you drop a comment, man. Make sure you also get into Free to Trappers over there on Crenshaw King, man. Free to Trappers, Free to Trappers, Free to Trappers. Crenshaw King, get into Free to Trappers, man. Get you a rich trapper, trap. Lottie Trap Pack from Free to Trappers over on Crenshaw and King. Y'all know the deal, man. Make sure y'all get into that. And hit the subscribe button. Become part of the Rich Trapper Mafia. Hit that notification bell at the top. Hit all things happening for the latest and the greatest. What we got going on here at TNN and Trap News Network. And make sure you follow me on Instagram. T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R-X. Trap News Network. Get into that. If you ain't got into that. Um... Drop a comment, man. The best comment between now and 20,000 subscribers to get $150 cash apping 10 from your boy. And drop another comment because the best comment between now and 50,000 subscribers will get a $500 cash apping 10 from T-Real and a $500 cash apping 10 from, T uh, from me. And, you know, that's how that go. For me and T-Real and 10, all that good stuff. You know, whoop on that, all that. Uh, do all my things out there on all streaming platforms. Make sure y'all get into that. You ain't got into that. And the big shout out to Chick Smooth, man. We finna use some of his content. And he's talking about Cardi B going off on Joe Button. Not sure why Cardi B is beefing with Joe Button, but we finna figure it out right now together. Shout out to Chick Smooth. We finna jump into this content. I'm a three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> Cardi B is officially fed up with Joe Budden and she's not sparing his feelings this time. Joe, I think it's time to let it go, brother. No more talking about Cardi B on the podcast, man. Now, at least for the last three years, Joe Budden has been on Cardi B's case. Just like her fans, Joe Budden has been wanting Cardi B to drop her second album. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's been about seven years now since Cardi dropped her first album. A couple months ago, she said she was going to drop an album in the summer. Then Cardi went on to change her mind and her label actually had to intervene saying nah you are dropping that album this summer i don't care what you gotta do cardi we are getting that album from you now with all this pressure to drop an album as soon as possible obviously it doesn't help if one of the biggest podcasts in hip-hop is also pumping the narrative that you do not want to drop your album cardi b has warned joe well, if she hasn't dropped an album in seven years i don't think he's pushing a narrative that she doesn't want to drop an album i think it's pretty clear to see that she doesn't want to drop an album pretty clear to see button several times to please stop talking about me you've already gone out of your way to interview tasha k who did nothing but try to ruin my life and spread false rumors about me at this point it's clear you don't rock with me so please stop speaking on me and every time this happens joe goes back on the podcast and says nah me and cardi cool i just spoke with offset yesterday we were just in the bando together which always leaves the fans with the notion that everything is cool between them but a clip of joe speaking on cardi b on his last podcast episode came out and it's been making its rounds on social media it's a clip of joe saying that we'll never get another cardi b album and cardi b is going to become a future artist here's what joe said party yeah yeah absolutely. i would absolutely yeah, that. that could be true i could see cardi b becoming a feature artist because you know again it's been seven years since an album but do we actually want an album for cardi b or do we just want a lot of bangers and singles and hooks and all that kind of stuff like i don't think we're necessarily desperate for a cardi b album at this point we'll get another cardi album again and you've been standing on that. I am standing on it. And they talked about that in the office when I went up there. Like but now that Cardi got something <laughs> dropping with my man Rob, Big Rob on Friday. Saw that. Saw that. That's going to be crazy, but that's what Cardi's about to be now. Just a single artist. You're not getting none of that shit. Yeah, I mean, you was right, too. About what? About Atlantic wanting to put out an album. You was right. See, you be right sometimes about them wanting to put oh, out an album. We don't care about none of that I shit. I ain't spoke to nobody at Atlantic. I'll just be on a hunch. So you done went and got some information from somewhere. I just, let me just I'm sure that. somebody involved wants Cardi to put out an album. Though. What? Yeah, of course they do. do. I'm sure Offset wants Cardi to put out an album. Hey, fellas out there, boyfriends, y'all know that feeling, right? When you want your bitch to get a job, <laughs> you in the house, your bitch, your bitch just won't leave. <laughs> she just in there on top of you, on top of everything, not giving you space. Let's cuddle. No. Yeah, no, get off my arm. My arm sleep. <laughs> Move. Go. Ain't you got an album to do? <laughs> Don't you got a single? You got a tour.
Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Now Cardi B went on Twitter Spaces to air Joe out and she was fired up. She calls him out for lying about having inside sources at her label, curses Joe out, flames him up a little bit, then goes on to invite Joe to pull up to the studio to listen to her music. Here's Cardi B going off on Joe, you got plot twist, Joe Button pulls up to listen to her music and he hates it. Is get in the comments <laughs> below. Do you guys think Joe needs to stop speaking on Cardi B? Or do you guys think Cardi B is out of pocket and misinterprets Joe's love for her? Post your comments below. Scratch my channel like this video. I'll see you guys later, man. You don't even know me. Every Everything you do, whether it's my personal life or whether it's my music life, you're always talking shit about it. But then, but you fake thirsty for my album. No, you don't. You're not thirsty for my album. You're thirsty to criticize it. You're thirsty to kick it down. You're thirsty to talk shit about it. You never compliment me. When's the last time you compliment me? You were, you were so thirsty to fucking, fucking interview a bitch. You call, you call her interesting. A bitch that almost fucking made me go suicidal in 2019. Mm. A bitch that how many fucking lawsuits they got. They ain't such a boy, a fucking uh, thing. So why are you always talking about- And I think uh, um, Soulja Boy is actually suing Tasha K right now for the exact same reason uh, Cardi B su sued her. Defamation of character, Cardi, uh, Tasha K just be kind of making up things and putting them on the internet. And Soulja Boy is actually in the process of suing her right now for the same thing Cardi did for sure. My album and you got to connect. You don't have no connect. My family don't even know about my, my business, my work business. The album is never, what are you talking about? The shit is in motion. The merch is in more motion. The boxes, the box sets are in motion. You don't know shit that's going on on this side. You don't know it. If let me tell you something, my fans. One thing about fucking Barty Gang, my fans. Sometimes they be finding out shit. They be like, "How the fuck? How you know? How you know? How you know?" And they don't even know much about my album. So how the fuck you know? Always want to talk about somebody in Atlantic. You're fucking lying, nigga. I talk to the to the bosses. The bosses. I talk to only the bosses. And the bosses ain't going, going around talking about my shit. Leave me alone. I want you to leave me the fuck alone. And it's so crazy, bro. It's so crazy. All like, right, this is the Joe same nigga that gave me one of my first interviews. I don't know. Is it because I used to give this? Let me see. I never disrespected this man. And you always trying me and trying me and trying me and trying me, trying me, trying me. Cardi B is not holding back when it comes to Joe Budden. The trash talking. That's in on Joe Budden and even called him a quitter. I really want to let y'all know this, that I never had a problem with this man. Never had a problem. But well, all of a sudden, he started changing his tune. Changing his tune out of nowhere on me. Like, for what? Like, this shit didn't even make no sense. Cardi revealed that she never had any issues with Joe and that he actually gave her one of her first interviews in the beginning of her career. She said she was very excited for the opportunity, but that things changed after he did his interview with Nicki Minaj. And... That so it changed even that further. Budden, you guys think that Joe Budden is now siding with Nicki Minaj? You feel me? Y'all think that Joe Budden is now um, <clears throat> pushing a narrative on behalf of Nicki Minaj uh, against Cardi B? Because that's kind of what's being insinuated. When do I think Joe Budden cares enough? No, but it's a cool narrative. He tried to do the interview with Tasha K, which, as you know, Cardi B sued Tasha K for defamation of character and things that she said about her and her children. Cardi said she feels like he picked a side when in reality he didn't need to do so. She said he could have done his job, made his money and kept it moving, but that he started constantly stating negative things about her for the last two years. What am I, your little flunky, your little mob that you could just come at for no reason? I never disrespected this. Cardi B is taking this attack very personally against Joe Budden, which makes me wonder if they had an existing relationship prior to this. And then now she's like, damn, bro, you're supposed to be the homie. Like, why are you acting funny? Which in what, and if it, and if in which that is the case, she's 100% correct for feeling the way she Man, feels. Man, and you always try me and try me and try me and try me, try me, try me. Regarding Joe saying he has an insider at Atlantic Records who is giving him tips about her sophomore album, Cardi says that's impossible because she only- Seven years since the first album.
do we even care about a sophomore album? Talks to four or five people at the label when it comes to her new music. So if anything comes out, she knows exactly who it's coming from. She doesn't have any meetings with 30 and 40 people in the room. It's just those four or five people who know what's really on the up and up when it comes to her music. She went on to say that all he does is compare her to other female artists and find something negative to say about every single she drops music wise and any situation she goes through. She referenced her situation with Offset back in December and how Joe said it was all a publicity stunt. Always talking shit about me. He compares the new girls. He compares the old girls. He compares... Well, arguably, Joe Button is in a podcasting space, so his job is to speak about what's going on in the media, whether it's comparatively or not, you know, so I can just kind of see that. Everybody to me, all of them, all of them, he compares all of them to me. Because every single I drop, you don't like it. Every feature I drop, you don't like it. I... This Give me no fuck flower. I'm not saying that her music is bad, but what if he genuinely doesn't like you? What if he genuinely doesn't care for her? Is this good? Matter of fact, this give me grass. That's what the fuck give me grass. But it wasn't all negative feedback from Cardi, though. She did take time to give Joe his flowers and say that he's a great artist and that he does, in fact, have the credentials to critique rap because he's a great rapper himself. But, as she said it, the difference between the two of them is that he quit his passion of a rap career and she'll never be a quitter, no matter who or what comes her way. Let me tell you the difference between me and you, Joe Button. Like, it's like, yes, you are a great artist and I feel like you do have credentials to critique rap because you are a great rapper. But th this is the difference between me and you. You quit. You quit your music. You quit. You quit being an artist. I She's struggling for a point right now. She's struggling for a point right now. You're a quitter. You quit. I don't think he cares at all. Never quit. <clears throat> you want to know why? Because I can never tell my kids that I'm a quitter. Whether I fail, lose. I could fail. I could lose. I could flop. I'm never going to quit. You quit. You quit. I'm never going to quit. I'm never going to quit. I'm not a quitter. There was one part of her rant that I really re resonated with, and that's when she spoke about how she will always speak her mind versus holding it all inside like other artists who end up going crazy or getting on drugs to mask their frustrations with the industry. And if you really think about it and think about artists like Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, and I mean, I can go on, they weren't really able to fully be themselves or fully speak their minds because they were too worried about how they would be perceived. In how, be, how bad, how, how they'll be perceived, how they'll be received, how they'll be taken advantage of, how they might lose this endorsement, that endorsement is control. The entertainment industry. Now at some point during the rant, Joe Budden did join the Twitter spaces and listened in and he took to his Twitter to fire out some tweets in regards to what Cardi was saying. He says, I think I understand what's going on. This is a play because I love her. I really just wanted an album from someone whose music I love. She's cursing me smooth out, but she's still hilarious. I'm going to bed. I apologize to I am Cardi B for whatever I did and peace and love to all. Yeah, I don't think Joe Budden cares at all. I promise you and can assure you I will not cover a single thing this girl does for the remainder of her career. Peace and love. But nonetheless, let's keep the conversation going by letting- Basically he's saying for better or for worse, you'll never get any uh, mention out of me and Joe Button might be in his own a-hole way saying it's going to do you more harm than good because you need me to talk about you more than you need, more than I need to talk about you. Could be my perception, could be right, could be wrong. Let me know your thoughts on Cardi's rant in the comment section below. Now I want to give a big shout out to True Exclusives. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all show some love to True Exclusives. Make sure y'all show some love to them as well, man. Show them some love, True Exclusives. We up out here to the next one, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for more. Y'all know the rest. Red dots to the left. Free Avenue Angel, so he's free though. We go.